We're now going to look at how to set up a choice activity. First of all, you need to turn editing on. Then go to the topic that you want to add the choice activity to and choose add an activity or resource. From the activities list, choose choice. first thing you need to do is you need to give your choice a name and then you need to give it some introductory text which will be the instructions to students explaining what it is you want them to actually choose. You also have a limit option which allows you to set a limit on how many people can choose or how many students can choose an individual choice. By default it's disabled but if you enable it, it means that when you actually put your options in the limit option is now live and you can put a numerical value in. So I'm going to set these to 5 which means that only 5 people can take this particular choice and then the choice itself becomes unavailable. So you put in your choice options by default you have space for a total of five options. If you leave these blank, Moodle just ignores them. So at the moment I've only filled in three, so Moodle will only displace three. Additionally, you can add in more fields, and these are added in three at a time. You can then decide if you want to date restrict access to your choice activity, and then you can decide if you want how you want it to display on the page. And you can also decide if you want to publish the results of the students once they've taken the choice, before they've taken the choice, and you can also decide if you're going to display this data, if you want the data to be anonymous, so they won't actually know who's taking the choice or what particular choice, but they will be able to see the numbers per choice. You can also decide if you want the student to be able to update their choice, which means they can change their mind. Um, and you can also show a column for unanswered. Um, we tend to leave this switch to no, otherwise if you have a big class or big cohort of students uh, it means that your page becomes rather unwieldy. Once you've made these uh, changes and you've added your data, if you save and display will see what your course will look like to your student. You'll also notice that at the moment no one has taken the choice so there's zero responses but if you go into the response page what will eventually happen is you'll be able to see uh, the responses you'll also be able to export them uh, in various formats and you'll also be able to set, select individual choices uh, if you want to remove any. Um, be it um, someone's taken an error um, or I don't know maybe you want to uh, update your own data um, but that's really how to set up a choice activity in Moodle. They tend to be used for things such as a quick way of polling students and if you use the capped option um, to limit the amount of people who can take whatever choice it's also been used for signing up to things such as um, tutorials and tutorial groups.